Hey everyone, thank you so much for stopping back by. My name is Tia. If you're new here, welcome. If you're not new here, welcome back. I hope you all are doing amazingly well. I hope your week is going well. Mine has gotten better, so I'm not mad at that. If you can't tell, I have on no makeup, and if you hear plastic, I'm doing a beauty treatment on my hands. I have an event this weekend, which means I'm avoiding makeup because while I'm not makeup sensitive, I don't like to tempt fate, and I'm also doing all of the amped up skincare because the skin will be on display at this event. Not all of the skin, just some of the skin. So today, you didn't come here to talk about skin. You came for information about perfumes, and that's what I'm gonna give you. Two of these perfumes have already been reviewed at the appropriate times. I will link those reviews overhead. One, the review will be coming out in a few weeks. The links may not show up, immediately because I don't know if I'll have time to put them in, but just know that they are coming at some point, okay? Both the links and that video on the perfume that I recommend. So these are three scents, autumn-esque without being too heavy-handed, right? Because everywhere you go, as soon as you see the clock change from December, not December, September 19th to September 20th, everyone pulls out their chunky mitts, grabs a PSL, pumpkin spice latte, and, you know, trugs around in Uggs. You know what I'm saying? So everyone wants to get right into fall, but the truth is the fall fragrances that I've encountered generally are, like I said, a little heavy handed. They tend to lean very heavy into spice. These three scents have some spice, but not too much, right? If you look at my old videos for these three scents or previous videos when you get the chance, my way of discussing them might be a little bit different, but just assume that what I'm saying right now in this video is my most current thoughts on it. So if the video in the past is a little different from what I'm saying, my thoughts have changed, that's all. Anyway, first scent is DKNY's Nectar Love. Now, I love this scent. It's honeyed, very honeyed and sweet without being cloying. It's not cloying at all. I like it because to me, honey is very much an autumn thing. I mean, yes, you can wear it any time of year. You do what you want, right? But to me, it's very autumn because it gives sweetness without being too sugary and it has warmth to it as a fragrance. So this is really nice. I like this for fall. I don't know if in my um, Nectar Love video, I said this was good for fall, but it is. It has some apple tones to it as well. It gives me very much this time of year, but it's early fall to me when I smell it. It's an early fall scent, but it's really, really nice. Highly recommend this for those who are transitioning to their winter scent collection and want something that really kind of captures that in-between space between peak heat and peak cold. You want a scent that's right in the middle that really tiptoes the line very well. So Nectar Love is my number one recommendation for this season. My second recommendation is one that I just talked about recently, which was... Silver Moon by Pacifica. Now, Silver Moon was not my favorite fragrance out of the Pacifica collection. However, as far as fall goes, this is a really good one. This is warm without being too sweet. It's got vanilla, spice, and almond. This is probably the warmest of the three scents that I'm mentioning today. And even this still has a lot of softness to it. I think it's the almond. Um, vanilla softens that spiciness too. So, just know that if you are interested in this scent, of course, all of these I recommend, go to the store, smell for yourself. But if you're interested in this one by Pacifica, I can say comfortably that this, it has some powder to it. This to me is definitely later autumn where you have transitioned away from all of the juicy and kind of fruity notes and you are just in the thick of, let's bring on the cold weather. Let's bring on the darkest night. That's what this gives me without being, like I said, without being too heavy handed. It's the vanilla and the almond. They do a really good job 
tempering the spice so you don't smell like a PSL when you go outside. You just smell warm and kind of rich. It's nice. Oh, that's a good one. Look at me applauding myself for choosing it. <laughs> that's a good one. Um, so yeah, like I said, Nectar Love is really good for the transition period, but because it is honeyed, it's really good for mid-autumn too. But this fragrance, which I have not reviewed yet, the review will be coming soon, is by Good Chemistry. It's Queen Bee. Look at that with the... I really am liking the, the bees reference. And maybe because bees make me think of autumn. I know. You're thinking bees make you think of autumn. This is the time of year, at least in this region, that I see a lot of bees because the drones are kicked out of the hives which means they are being left to die and they are extra aggressive. So you do see them more. They're very visible. Um, but yes, this time of year always makes me think of bees before it gets very cold. So yes, Queen Bee by Good Chemistry. The notes, and I'm going to be reviewing this soon, are black currant, peony, and amber. I like it because if you are not ready to release floral fragrances, you know, yes, Winter's coming, but you're still holding on to flowers. This is a good one. The peonies are absolutely beautiful in here. Black currant gives it some juiciness without it being too um, too tropical. And amber is a wonderful base note that just gives it warmth with a little powder, but not too much. I love this. And it smells so, so good. This one I recommend, especially in the first part of the transition to fall this first few weeks of fall this is a great option and it is very sweet so if you like sweet scents this is a good one um I, like i said i'll be reviewing this soon it mentions that it's vibrant and bold with a touch of sass i like the fact that it's very vibrant it's a vibrant scent just like they mentioned i like that for this season because people are still very much floating on the fun of summer and no one wants to go right into, well, some people do, but I like the thought of gradually transitioning into what is warmer and earthier. This gives you still some summer vibes without it being too floral or too um, too light. It's light, but the amber gives it a little bit of base. So that's a really good one for fall as well. So three scents that I recommend. DKNY Nectar Love is obviously number one because it is probably the most autumn smelling to me without having a lot of spice to it. The second one is Silver Moon by Pacifica that has the vanilla and spice and almond mix. Very nice, a very good transition from fall to winter when you might want some of those deeper, earthier scents. And of course, Good Chemistry's Queen Bee, which is still very vibrant, very bright, very summery, but it's got a little bit of heft to it with that amber. So it helps you transition from the very warm months to this in-between season of fall with ease. So do you have any fragrances that you really like for this season? Let me know in the comments below. I will, when I get the chance, link everything properly. And until next time, I will talk to you all very, very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.